Hello and welcome back to the Radical Remove And So we need to get rid of a revolt, which is actually in this direction. So I have to turn this army around, but uh, we'll get rid of a revolt and then we attack the Kilobits. That's generally the plan. So get some money there, letting our money continue ticking up into the insane levels. Uh, he's a perfect person to have that because he likes me and the job means nothing. Oh, just remembered I should move my diviner. Yeah, I'm going to move her there. Right. You want to marry my daughter? No, my daughter is going to marry... Um, I don't know. Daughter's going to marry... Ooh. Uh, that person. Sure. Edwine. That seems fine to me. Uh, we will offer peace and force demands. Nice. Okay, new ambition. Oh yeah, we'll see the realm prosper, definitely. Um, definitely not doing any wars anytime soon. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be doing that in 14 days. Uh, we do need to wait for some armies to move around. What was that? No. Uh, that's the most pathetic retinue I've seen in a while. Uh, yes, yeah, some of our troops are still moving around into new positions, so they stop taking attrition. But we should be fine. Right. Uh, who are you attacking? Hasifids? I think they're in a civil war. Let me just check that out, though. Um, that's not the Hasifids, actually. That's these guys. Uh, there is a civil war. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to send you back up there. Because I was just thinking, I need to actually, if I'm attacking the Kilobids, send some men in the positions where they can um, attack the Kilobids. So I'm only sending three armies up there. Is that enough? I'm told my retinues. I guess they just took attrition. Yeah. Hmm. Don't really like that, but that's fine. Don't really have a choice in the matter. Okay. Let's let everybody go where they need to go. You head down here. Yeah, the problem is we are taking a lot of damage attacking these places because we, we take so much attrition up here. I mean, yeah, it's good we took some of the land. In fact, it looks like we took some extra land in there as well. No, I think we always had that. Yeah, I think their name just changed size. But, yeah, it is quite difficult to attack. Oh, we could actually Holy War on Birdo. Or Brido. I probably want to do that first. So, actually, uh, change my mind again about where you're going. You're heading north again. Yep. Um, cool. Seems good to me. Uh, we'll make a move, definitely. Right. Head our way up north. The lady spurned my subtle advances. Oh, no. Right. Back up north. Um, yeah, that's uh, them being weakened a little bit by losing some of their kingdoms. Nice. Um, don't need to worry about that one. Oh, there's another uprising. Perfect. Where's that? It's down here. You know what? Bulgaria will probably deal with it. I don't need to worry about it. Bulgaria, they've got it covered. More kingdoms being usurped. That's absolutely fantastic. The more they can take his kingdoms away, the less he actually... As, so that would mean like he only has yeah two uh, two extra um things there that we need to get rid of good right continue our way up north oh they are taking attrition already okay right uh brdo i would like to attack you what duchies do you have available you have isham which is three provinces two provinces you have a Sabir, which is two, and you have um, a Ub Ubagan, Ubagan, potentially. I'm going to take your capital one. Yeah, Isham. Right, the Claire. You head in there. You've got all of the major um, troops, and then our major leaders, I should say, and then we're going to send you in there with a siege leader, if we have another one. We do, right. Although we don't need a siege leader, I just realized, because there's uh, nothing to siege. Anyway. Head in as fast as we can. Uh, yeah, the more we can take from, uh, like, weaker nations over here, the better. Because large nations, as we saw in the previous episode, are very, very difficult to actually effectively attack. Like, in large nomad nations. The small ones, however, we already have 85% war score. So. Yeah, they're, they're nice and easy. Okay. They want to surrender already. 
In contrast to the previous one, that is crazy. Uh, is there a new leader or are you... You're fine, right? Um, I'm going to send you down here in preparation for the kilobits. I'm going to send you down here in preparation for the kilobits. Nice. Uh, we got two more in there. They're both going to um, Okaz. And uh, they both need uh, castles. Yeah. Right, Okaz. I'm going to give you um, this one. And Isham as well. Or Ishim. Right. Perfect. And they're starting to look like a proper nation over here as well. So hopefully they'll be able to attack some people at some point. Uh, council position, advisor. Well, we're just looking for a loyalist. There you go. King of Valencia. He'll do. Cruces are expiring with uh, the revolt over here. That revolt's been going long enough that their truces with the revolt have expired. That's crazy. Yeah, we could definitely attack them again. However, they were quite difficult to attack as well. So I don't necessarily want to. How strong are the kilobits? 9,000. Yeah, we should be good. Should be good. Uh, I'm just going to send them one further over so they can actually siege. Arrange marriage. Uh, seems good to me. Right. That's a lot of men from Bulgaria. What are you doing, Bulgaria? Who are you attacking? Um, in the Saxon Holy War for Harit Tanaka? Over here? No, where's Harit Tanaka? Is that really what it says? Harit Tanaka. Uh, Harit Tanaka. Really? Really? Oh, in the Saxon War. The Sax uh, Saxony. When did Saxony get some land in the center there? How did they... You know, I don't even want to question it, but it's good to know that Saxony and Bulgaria are on the same side, I guess, for us. Uh, they're definitely two of our strongest, so... Seems like a good thing that they're on the same side. Right. Well, that's very, very interesting. Uh, also interesting is that... I'm guessing this is a fluke. All right, yes. I just realized something about that. As they're not attacking the kilobits, obviously. They're actually attacking this per- they're attacking the revolt. Okay. Very weird. But cool, but weird. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't expect to see Bulgaria already en route to where I was going. It seemed odd. Right. They're creating high chiefdoms up here. Uh, it's all good. Right. As long as we don't die, this nomadic agitation shouldn't be an issue. There's a new leader of China coming up soon. Right. Uh, yeah, let's be close friends with that guy. What's my mission right now? I probably don't have a mission right now. I know we're also in a revolt, in theory. Like, over here. Uh, you know what? I'll raise Bulgaria's troops and we'll go defeat that while uh, I wait. Yeah. Um, You can lead. Let's go in. Now, I'm not going to take any loot missions. I'm done looting. I don't need to loot. I have 75,000 um, well, gold, so I should be good. Yeah, they'll accept peace now. That's fine. Um, release all prisoners. Good. Over this way. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, we can organize blood game. I didn't even notice they were over there. Oh, yeah, I should do those soon as well. We in position. Looks like we're in position. Uh, you need a martial education. We also need to just check our duchies. So we could take uh, Pamir. We could take a uh, Kashgar. Or we could take... Well, those are really the two best ones. Yeah. Or, or add Ak. Uh, I think I'm going to attack here. Or Kashgar. Because that gets us a little bit further in at that side. It opens up more of their land for us to attack. Seems good. Right, let's, let's go for it. Don't need to overthink it. Um, Kashgar. Yeah. Good. And there. And there. Um, oh, there's actually a small mountain there. I didn't even notice. And then head in there. 
Nice. Should be ready for this. Uh, make sure we have three leaders. So we'll go for uh, you. You can have that person leading. Uh, and then the rest I don't mind about. So why don't you have Halil there? Right. Good. Move ourselves into position. Hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, we also need to move down here as well. Yeah, we can do that as well at the same time. Okay. Right. Um, back up to the top. And we will continue attacking up here. Um, sacrifice there. Back in here. Right. That's a large army coming for me. This one's the one that's going to get the uh, leaders in charge of it, I guess. I would very much like you to attack me in these... Oh, it's just desert, actually, but... Okay. Where are they going? Let's head down south, I guess. Hmm. They have multiple wars. I suppose they have multiple issues that they need to deal with. No, my cousin is going to marry matrilineally. She's going to marry uh, that guy. Sure. While we're at it, actually, my son should marry. Uh, and we need to spend, like, an extra two seconds looking for someone for him. So, down here, looking for good genetic traits. We have strong. I'm looking for somebody who we can just straight up marry. Uh, if only to stop another pop-up. Yeah, you're going to marry her. Good. Right. Let's go. We do also have a lot of prestige now. So, we could potentially start breaking truces again. Might be a good time to start doing that. Oh, you've converted everyone. Fantastic. Well, take me over here. Uh, and you can now convert the next one. Yeah, that's looking very, very nice over there. Okay. Keep sieging. They do have large armies that aren't taking attrition, which is worrying for me. Uh, oh, right, they have a single one there. Oh, I might just reinforce a little bit. You know, just a little reinforcement. Just keep ourselves uh, going. You know, nothing too crazy. Right. Um, that should be us got something in the war goal. Yep. Nice. Now it's nice and quick sieges. This one's going as well. That's alright. Um, how's it looking down here? Sieges are fine. Okay, it's all looking not too bad. Not too bad. Right. Uh, what do we need here? Uh, we need a new commander. A new commander is going to be... Probably this person, because we need more organizers, because we are running out of organizers, I've noticed. Right. That's another victory. Another siege coming down. They're going very, very quickly. Which is nice. Uh, what have we got here? A serpent spear. And a tapestry. Uh, and an interesting, another interesting relic of unknown origin. Okay, I'll take it. Or, like, nobody knows what the relic is, I should say. The origin's known, but the, uh, like, use, purpose, what it is, nobody knows that. Okay. Uh, that one's been done. Uh, we'll try and stop people from assaulting that down. Okay. Wait a few days, assault it down. Nice. 51%. Uh, we now need another one here. Now we head back up this way. Give these to the people who they should be given to. So you should have that one. And you should have uh, that one. Yep. Nice. So that should be no nomadic agitation from those two anymore. Okay. Continue all of these sieges. They're all looking fine. Anything up here I can get? Nope. No more troops up there. That's fine. Um, yeah, keep at it. Keep sieging. They might surrender soon. No more use to this type of war. Nope, just a flesh wound. Never mind. Another one up here. Another one sieging down. Uh, we lost some battles, but that's okay. Oh, we lost a battle over there. Hmm, not great. Um, do I really have two again? Yeah, let's split them in half. That almost split perfectly. I just need to get the one that's got 16,000 to give up one troop. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the 15839 is going to move off. Then the other two are merging. That should be good, right? Yeah. 
Good. Oh, and then you're also moving off because I don't want you to be on the province that they're retreating to. Right, back up here. Uh, can I improve my siege speeds? Uh, yes, I can. Fantastic. That's huge. Yeah, it's really um, quite a struggle going down from having 100% siege to just halving that. It's like, it's not good. Uh, can I send you a gift? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Now these sieges should be going a little bit closer to what we're used to. Right. Uh, it is a bit of a slog now to get these. That's okay. Another two. Should get another siege victory. There's another person plotting against me. Soon there's going to be no... Oh, they're willing to surrender. Oh, fantastic. That's what I was after. Another bit of land. Uh, we can now back out down here, probably. Yeah, that seems good. You can back down here. Here. You can go over this way. Right. That's all good. Nobody else is taking attrition. You know, you're taking attrition. Um, yeah, next one along. Right, so everyone's going somewhere. Technological advancement. Uh, what's that in? Oh, it's in this one. Um, let's take improved keeps. I don't know. Seems fine to me. Right, then all of these are Bedouin, Bedouin, Osaka, Iranian. Okay, Bedouin, uh, another Iranian based one. So I think most of that's going to the. I think this should all go to the uh, Goshtabids. Uh, yes. So let's give them all this new land. Yeah. They'll continue to like me for doing it, makes them stronger, they're on our border so they can expand from it, all that good stuff. You know, you know what's going on at this point. Right, next one is that one. Nice. So, they are now even stronger. And, uh, yeah, it's a good, good spot. Right, need to move back so we can actually reinforce again. How's the uh, war that uh, Bulgaria and Saxony are in? Probably not going well, I'd imagine. Um. Oh, what happened to it? The war is over. Oh, that maybe they won. It looks like they just won. Um. Yeah, it was won by my uh, vassal, who's slowly eating up land over here without any input from me whatsoever. Wasn't well, that nice? Right. Um. I do potentially want to attack up here again. Is there a new leader? No, I also have raised troops. Yeah, let's disband those. Uh, I could truce break, but it doesn't seem like the right way to play that. Uh, I could plot to kill, but there's nothing there. Could also just truce break with the Kilobids as well and take more of their land. Uh, I don't necessarily need to, but I could do that. Um, if I got rid of the Kilobids, that does split up our land a little bit more. What I really want to do is change the color of our nation so it's not the same as the people who are next to us, because that is messing me up. Oh, this is all split into more nations. Oh wow, I see over here is just fragmenting completely and utterly. That's crazy. Okay, right. Uh, you guys have the same leader? Uh, no. You have a different leader, so I could attack them. Last time it was a little bit of a slog. This time... I can't imagine it's going to be any better. But we could attack for like these two provinces. Mm. The main issue is attacking up here because these things have no supply limit whatsoever. It's actually crazy how low that supply limit is. Because that's increased by almost 100% due to our um, like due to our technology. Like That is crazy. That that is so low. Anyway. Yeah. Um, we could potentially try it. What's also annoying is that the AI doesn't take it, obviously, but that's because um, the AI, like most of the negatives are from, actually I thought the negatives were from, well, there's only minus 20% from hostile holdings. Yeah, I thought they were like defensive, so you got like more defense off of them. Um, nope, not at all. Okay, well, that's, uh, yeah, I guess that's just the AI being the AI in that case then. That's fine. Oh, apparently I joined in a battle. 
Didn't really mean to, but there we go. Uh, let's gain patient. Yeah. Ignore that one. Uh, got some more land up here, which we can now give away. So that is this bit of land. Nice. Uh, still have nomadic agitation. Oh, I, I don't remember taking this land, so I guess somebody else must have. Either that or I did. Did I take this land? No, they took it. Oh, nice. They holy ward it. Well, that's always good. Got some more money. Um, let me just think about what... Oh, I also got another one up here, which I can grant away. That's called uh, Ezel. Right? Okay. That's good. Hmm. I'm trying to think what we want to do up here. I definitely think that attacking the Shumalid seems like it would be fine. We just need a better plan than last time. I think one army over here... One army here, one army here. We do need the army on that one as well. The problem is they don't surrender until we've taken every single one of their provinces, which really slows things down quite a lot, because it, yeah, it does slow things down. It makes me not want to attack them, which I get, it is a good strategy, you know. Just make it a, an issue. Right, I do want to recharge a little bit. How many more retinue could we get if I wanted more retinue? We could get some. I'm trying to think what we want. Um, ideally, I guess we'd want heavy infantry looking at what we have, right? In terms of tech now. I guess we would want heavy infantry, yeah. So if I just get ourselves, like, one super um, retinue of, like, heavy infantry. Let's just see what we got here. Let's make them very, very, very strong. Um, let's have a look here. I think we want about 50 of these. Could be wrong. Just to get a reasonable sized force, I think we want around 50 of these. Um, that's not the right button. I had my uh, hand like a tiny bit to the side. Oh, wow. No, we actually want uh, 100 of those. Okay, well. You know, more clicking. We're getting there. Can I use... I'll just see if there was anything like, you know, any shift for 10 or any kind of stuff like that. Nope. It's uh, click for each of them. I guess usually you wouldn't... Uh, oh, I hit my retinue cap. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, 2,000... Uh, 24,900. That's okay. Um, Yeah, I'm going to bring them over... I'm going to bring them over here. I think they would be quite useful over this area of the map. I think that seems like a good area for them. Right. Uh, let's unpause, let things carry on a second or two. Let's let people work out where they're going. Uh, sympathy for Eastern religion, girls will be girl. Yeah, you know, you know girls, their sympathy for Eastern religion. It's just a weird thing to say. Anyway, whatever. Um, click there. Right. Oh, we got, uh, daughter, marry her off, matrilineally to... Somebody who's the right age, roughly-ish. Yeah, that guy. Right. And you need an education, which could be Marshall. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do we have any prisoners? We do. So, um, Blood Games, worship the ancestors, pick a patron deity. Uh, Prakunas, worthy follower, guide my sword in battle. Right. Uh, I'm going to offer this prisoner as a sacrifice. Right, and then I'm going to choose the toughest of my prisoners to fight for me with some money. Uh, he's not going to win. I'm going to be friends with that person. You found a person of great military talent. Oh, nice. And... Yep. Let's have a look here. He did not win. Uh, Ling Venice, my uh, kinsman won. The, chosen, the exalted chosen of Kiev. Cool. Who's attacking here? Vladimir is doing a Vladimirian holy war for Turgay. Hmm. Fantastic. They might actually be able to win that, which would be very nice for us as well. Yeah. That looks thoroughly winnable for them. I also like how they've, this land's been held for so long that it's now a uh, Tibeto Burman. Yeah, that, uh, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, the Shumalids I want to attack up here. Hmm. Do I have any troops that I can send back out? Yeah, I guess I'm going to send you up there. Yeah, send you over this way. 
Do I have any more? They're almost reinforced. Yeah, I have you as well. I'm going to send you up this way. Right. And that then gives us three armies and they can get the three different sides of the Shumalids. Yeah, it's not great. Who are perm attacking? Yukra. They're attacking the Shumalids. Well, this seems perfect for us. Well, Yukra is like a single one, right? Yeah. So uh, if there are two wars going on, that means that we have someone else sieging that area as well. And it counts towards our war score. Good. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.